Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I just want to show you something I knocked together the other day. Um, I've started playing Elite Dangerous and anybody out there on YouTube land who knows Elite Dangerous, there's a lot of buttons and a lot of things you have to keep track of. And I'm using an Xbox 360 controller and I know that's not necessarily the best device to use. However, it gives you two analog sticks and a bunch of buttons. So it's quite, you know, it works pretty well. But uh, sometimes I have to reach over to the keyboard to push certain keys and I forget uh, where they are um, and it's, it, you know, I can get confused. So what I decided to do is put together something out of some old bits of hardware I had lying around. So I had this panel from a previous project um, and I had these push buttons too. And not only that, I also had this USB to serial controller board. Um, so I fixed the push buttons to the panel. I've added an LED here. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put weak pull up resistors and all the switches and I'm gonna wire them to this, the inputs on this this, um, it's effectively an analog to digital converter. There's a, a PIC microchip here and an FTDI232R. I think there's a PIC16F688 um, and there are programming pins here. So I'm going to reprogram this into, um, to produce an output stream suitable that can be picked up on a, either Windows driver um, as an HID device or perhaps just for input into VJoy so I can have a bit more configuration on here. So as I said, there's going to be weak pull-ups on here, just hooked up to the power rail here. And then I'm going to take the the other inputs and just attach them to these input pins. This board, it has many, um, not just digital I.O. pins, but analog I.O. So later I could put some um, variable resistors and things to act as throttle controls. We'll work that out. So at the moment, this configuration is just, this is a test configuration. Remember, I just had the buttons in the panel, so it's, it's drilled out for that. So I've, I've decided on a, a pattern to use. So I'm gonna make this, this up, down, left, right, just to be sort of maneuvering thrusters as a first test. And then I'll have maybe a landing gear up and down and cargo scoop, deploy and retract, something like that. And then I might just hook the LED up to show the USB traffic. So once that's working though, that'll prove the point that this can be configured for anything, which means then basically I can make any kind of controller or joystick. So once I do that though, I think I'm going to just open source the whole project. This is a, a board that we designed commercially. We um, I've got all the designs for this. We own the copyright and IP. So I'm going to maybe uh, open source this and then open source the general circuit of me hooking it up for Elite Dangerous and any firmware changes we've had to make to this. Um, as I have a box of these, I think about 40, so I can make a, certainly a bunch of prototypes and certainly be able to sell a few of that old stock just to help people along with their own projects. So, there we go. Perhaps you've seen it here first, the Dangerous Prototype V1. I'll let you know how I get on with this project and uh, hopefully, if it all works, we'll all be able to make a few. Thanks for watching.